Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching, or silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Oh, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how you can accompany yourself on the piano. Basically, that means singing and playing together at the same time. Or maybe you can accompany or play along for someone else, another singer, friend, family, whoever, or even a choir or even a band. Why not? So let's learn five plus one bonus accompaniment technique in this lesson. And we'll take the popular spiritual Christmas carol, Go Tell It on the Mountain. We are going to play the song on G major, a scale I like to play on. So let's look at the scale. G A. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. One sharp, F sharp. So let's break down the chords first. And to break down the chords, we are just going to play it as blocks with inversions. So blocks with inversions will allow us to move forward with all the other patterns. And even playing blocks with inversions and not knowing any of the other five patterns I'm going to tell you will, will pretty much be nice enough if you're a newcomer to the instrument, if you're a beginner or if you haven't accompanied or played chords too often. So before we get started, it'll be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon for regular notifications and do consider getting yourself the notation as a downloadable PDF including MIDI files of each accompaniment pattern in this particular lesson. Let's get cracking. So first off, the chords, I'm going to play you the chords and sing the song so you, you, you can shift along pretty well. And each of the chords will either last for four counts, which is an entire bar. So go tell it on the mountain. There, that first chord, the G, it lasts for an entire bar, right? Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Okay, so there the chords are a bit different. So I'm going to show you. Uh, first of all, it's nice to maybe re recap the chords of the G major scale. That's G major, G, B, D, A minor, A, C, E, B minor, B, D, F sharp, C major, C, E, G, D major, D, F sharp, A, E minor, E, G, B, F sharp, diminished, F sharp, A, C. Back to your tonic. So first chord in Go Tell It on the Mountain for the whole line, whole bar is G major and I'm playing it like this B, D, G what we call as the first inversion of G major so go and how am I going to uh, play it? 4 hits here if the chord lasts for 4 2 hits here if the chord lasts for 2 and 1 hit if it lasts for 1 and the left hand will play the root of the chord or the bass note or the, or the true root of the chord if you will unless it's a slash chord, which I'm going to also walk you through. So, so first off, we have G major in first position or first inversion. So we go, go tell it on the mountain. Okay, so that's basically two bars of G. Go tell it on the one, two, three, four. Two rounds of G. Go tell it on the mountain. Let's sing that together. Go tell it on the mountain. And the left hand I'm just supporting with the root of the chord. And if you can, octave as well would be nice. Be nice and thick. Go tell it on the mountain. Now, over the hills and everywhere. Over the hills. So that's... D major in its second inversion, A, D, F sharp, over the hills and every, come back to G, but everywhere, where, you could do where, that's C major, and then G major again, but with a B bass, so it serves as a 
passing chord it adds some tension to the music so go tell it on the mountain g now over the hills d and every g c g over b c g over b that's c bass b bass let's do that again go g major tell it on the mount g major over d hills and g every c b g o tell it on the g mountain that g now the next part that jesus christ is born go it still wherever you have go tell it on the mountain we are in luck just one chord go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born now you can do this in a couple of ways go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born so i can go this is the more um spiritual way of getting it that the traditional way that g that g or where almost every note in the melody is harmonized with some chord so that jesus christ is born so that will be c g d g so that jesus christ is born so i'm just going to walk you through by a strategy which which i think will you'll find useful i'll sing the bass notes so that will allow you to get the chord changes better i hope and play along with me if possible i'll do it a bit slowly so go tell it on the mountain that's g over the d and g c b g tell it on the g that jesus d g so that jesus christ is born so c g d g okay might as well let's finish off the next section as well while shepherds kept their watching that's g o silent flocks by night so that's pretty much g for the whole bar na 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 another bar or silent flocks that's d seventh for uh, a bar four counts silent flocks by night four times so while shepherds kept their watching or silent flocks by night now behold throughout the heavens there shone a holy light what's that that's an a7 the beautiful secondary dominant chord which just creeps in from nowhere there shone a holy light that's a7 a7 the light d o go back to tell it on so i guess the first and the third lines of both the a and the b sections are pretty much just the g major chord so it's pretty quite an easy song okay let's do the whole thing again with singing and then i'm going to begin with the patterns go tell it on the mountain d over the hills and g everywhere go g tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born you can do d to g or that g g d is born next part while shepherds kept their watching to do over silent flocks by night behold throughout the heavens there shone a holy light oh pretty much the song and the chords and we don't need to learn the melody on the piano we have to sing it in this particular tutorial there are a lot of tutorials in our christmas playlist and on our channel where i cover a lot of popular songs where you're actually going to play the melody in the right hand and accompany with the left hand so now let's get to the patterns the first pattern is and i'm doing this video 
primarily so that you can use this lecture or this tutorial to not only play go tell it on the mountain but hundreds of songs whatever you want to play hopefully one of these five patterns will work for you as a singer piano player or as an as a piano accompanist for a choir or a band okay pattern number 1 is what i call as the ballad feel and the ballad feel basically just takes off from the pulse which we did just now so you play pretty much the same thing in your right hand with the same inversions in the left hand i'm just going to break up the pattern slightly like this go tell it on the mountain go tell it on the mountain go tell it on the mountain go now you can play the right hand either now that you're bringing in the ballad feel you're playing you can continue the crotchets go tell it on the mount but for the left hand to get active it it shouldn't clash with the right hand so you could slow down the right hand and play go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go to e4 one so the right hand can slow down and the left hand goes If you want or if you can you can break up the root and the octave go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere let's just do that one line so go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born and whenever the chords change pretty fast you don't have to do this offbeat ballad uh, extra thumb technique so 3 4 1 2 3 when it's slow enough or when the chords are long enough so let's just do go tell it on the mountain just that one line tell it on the mountain while shepherds kept their watching behold throughout the heavens those lines the jewel will go tell it on the once you get this going and over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born that's the ballad pattern now This will work for a lot of songs. If you want it to swing, you can now do can do a kind of a broken chord in the right hand there. Go tell it on the mountain or if you finding this a bit tricky, just play the right hand chords back to crotchets. And let's get the eighth note with the thumb. So you can add you don't have to add all the eighth notes you don't have to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 that's a bit too studious so oh tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born okay so the ballad is just a kind of an extension of what i told you earlier where you just play blocks of the chords in the pulse or slow it down go ta na 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 if you want and bring in that eighth note flavor in the left hand or the quarter flavor if you're playing minims in the right hand you play quarter with your thumb play crotchets with your thumb at the 1 2 Three, four, or you can swing the right hand by playing this nice broken pattern. So you're taking the same chord and just breaking it outside, inside. More groovy.
Okay, so that's what I'm calling as ballad chords. So you'll find the notation to practice maybe for later after you've kind of got acquainted with the chord changes and the melody and singing and so on. So the next style which I think will work for pretty much any tune would be arpeggios and I have a pattern which I think will work very well for this song and a lot more. So it goes... I'm just going to show you on G major and this is literally stolen from the banjo. This is pretty much what the banjo would do with three fingers. I'm doing it with four. So, so you take the G major chord but you go you do G major with the high G there. So it's L M H M. Low note, middle note, high note, low, uh, low note but played uh, up the octave. So the pattern is L M H M L M H M L M H M L M H M L meaning the higher L sometimes it it goes to the octave the second time so this is the pattern with the bass we can get a nice country thing going in the left hand which is just like a double bass doom so let's just do two chords G D and G and D and G let's put it with the track go tell it on over the hills and everywhere where because the chord changes are fast there I'm just doing because I don't have time to play the whole arpeggio right so go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere Jesus Christ is born again. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. And shepherds kept their watching or silent flocks by night. Same pattern. Throughout the heavens, there shone a holy light. So watch out for that A7 there. There shone a holy light. Oh, go. There shone a holy light. Oh, back. Tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. That Jesus Christ is born. So that's about arpeggios, which would work for a lot of situations. So in pattern number three, we're going to play it in a very bluesy way, blues or rock and roll. So if you want to spice things up and play one of the most influential genres of all time, let's get that done now. So G major. I'm going to simplify the chords. We'll just do the 1 and the 5 for the most part along with the 4 sometimes. So the right hand is going to comp the chords and the left hand is going to play this line. So every time you play G major, you're playing this line in the bass. 1, 5, 1, 6. 1, 5, 1, 6. Okay? In swing. And the right hand can just pretty much hold the chords alongside this. Go! Tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Uh, you don't have to do that. Where? That's quick change. Don't want. So go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. So that's the pattern. Okay, another nice style alongside the blues would be a bass line 
GBD so intervallically 13565 okay now let's make the right hand also bluesy the left hand is bluesy with two styles this one if you are finding it difficult to play this in double with quavers you can always simplify it by doing crotchets quaver up and now the bass line to let's just a b all of these with the melody just line one go tell it on the mountain versus go tell it on the mountain versus go tell it on the mountain okay this is the pattern and as it changes the chords it's going to flow okay do check out our notes it's written down with each and every movement so go tell it on the mount now what we are going to do in the right hand well you could hold the chords that would still be bluesy but let's do a bluesy thing there in the left hand and a bluesy thing in the right hand let's do both and see how it works so the right hand pattern would be 1 and 2 so we call this rhythm as the charleston rhythm for for music charleston is a a blues musician who po really popularized this groove so it's nothing but 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 now you can do the charleston in two ways you can do long short long short 1 and 2 and remember you're hitting it at the end of the two right 1 and 2 and hold it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go or you can do the charleston this way staccato legato over the hills and every Okay so now let's bring that phrase of the in the right hand the charleston phrase with the blues bass pattern so tell it on the mountain oh over the hills and everywhere oh yeah blow tell it on the mountain where jesus christ is born okay you can also vary the charleston slightly by maybe by just displacing it so that gap between beat 1 and 2.5 1 and 2 and is 1 to 2.5 so that's one and a half beats that's a dotted crotchet why not start at beat 1.5 which is the end of beat 1 and then land at beat 3 that will still be a dotted crotchet and it will make the charleston rhythm a lot more jumpy or a lot more groovy let's see the two charleston rhythms one this is the traditional one over the hills and everywhere now oh, oh one and two. oh tell it on the mountain oh all the tunes and it wake tell it on the mountain that's a displaced charleston mm, tell it on the mountain oh, oh and by the way the charleston rhythm will also work with the bass pattern the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born it's almost like a horn section in the right hand and a, a bass a bass guitar or a walking bass system in the left hand right so it's a very powerful pattern if you can nail it on the piano and don't be upset if you can't sing along to this it's an accompaniment style so if you are the singer and the player well and good if you don't like singing or if you want to outsource that job to someone else i'm sure you'll have a friend or a family member who can deliver the goods so uh, jam with people it's always good as an accompanist to work with other musicians because their timing and their 
choice of scale there are a lot of other logistics which a singer or a group of singers might have so it's always encouraged to work with them and i've done quite a few accompaniment videos so do check them out or check some of them out at least after this video is over we we'll link some in the description so we've done three patterns now we've done the ballad style we've done the arpeggio style now the blues let's move forward to something more modern more uh, dance friendly we call it i'm calling it the thresio pattern or the dance pattern so for the dance pattern to happen you have three hit points okay 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a, so 1e e and a, we first of all for dancey music we tend to want to divide the beat into four units so 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a, similar to a lot of dance songs out there it's about all i can play before the someone takes down the video but anyway so the dance pattern will be 1e e, a 2e and a 3e e, a 4e and a 1e e, and a 2e and a 3e you know what i'm talking about right almost every song today seems to have this pattern so why can't the the old spiritual go tell it on the mountain also be given that opportunity to dance so very 2023 Tell it on the mountain. So you may want to sing it a bit faster, uh, change the tempo a bit, uh, or keep the old tempo. Tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Now, what I like about this pattern is it'll teach you some good comping, comping or syncopation between the two hands. The left hand and the right hand will are trying to now. have a conversation with each other unlike the earlier patterns that i've taught you so the left hand now goes the, the pattern now goes l r r l r r left right right one e you're distributing the work between the two hands left hand can be more legato and the right hand can be staccato so you could even count it by singing um pa pa um pa pa um pa chak dum and to get this thresio very well it's good to go 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e a 4 so go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born a wise shepherd kept the watching dun, 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 dun. and if you want to make it even more salsa like a really some intense dancing you can go one five in the left hand and adapt according over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born you may not have the bandwidth to play all those fancy passing chords which i taught you in ballads and arpeggios but nevertheless it's more than enough check this out so let's revise it let's do it slowly i'm calling this the dance pattern or the thresio pattern because the pattern is officially called thresio in salsa music go tell it on the doom the doom 1 2 3 Four. So the pulse is now in the left hand. Earlier the pulse was in the right hand. We brought it now to the left hand in this variation. So go tell it on the mount. One e and a two e and a three and a hey, go tell it on the mount. And that Jesus Christ is born. You're probably changing the vibe of the song a lot. Well, I hope there are people who like this vibe. Maybe you can slow it down. Go. Now it's a bit more traditional, but still has that modern salsa effect. That Jesus Christ is born, while shepherds kept their watching o'er silent flocks by night. Behold, the of the heavens they shone a holy night. Oh, go tell it on the mount. You get the idea. To get this dance pattern. It's always nice to have a drummer flowing through you somehow. So maybe a drum groove like doom, tak, doom, doom, tak, doom, doom, tak, doom, doom, tak, doom. If that can kind of stick some dance groove, doom, tak, doom, doom, tak, doom, doom, tak, doom, doom. Or you could practice along with a backing track if that might help you further. 
Okay, so we can't conclude this lesson without a genre which is probably my favorite, reggae. Okay, so reggae, it's very simple. You need to slow it down, continue to swing it. But here's how it goes. It's very easy. It's just left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. It's just you're marching between the two hands. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And when you play the bass, do a toggle between the root, fifth root, fifth. Go tell it on the mountain. And to get a nice reggae feel, you can make the fifth staccato and the root legato. Go. Everywhere go, tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching o'er oh, silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Oh, go tell it on the mountain. There we go. Slow that down, and if you can't get that ghost note, as we call it sometimes in music, you can just go left, right. Right, left, right, right, left, right, wait, right, left, right, wait, right, left, right, wait, right, left, right, rest, ranchi, the pa dum pa. If you can get the ghost, it'll be more the, the reggae flavor. And everywhere, go tell it on the mountain. That Jesus Christ is born. So that concludes the five genres for Go Tell It on the Mountain. However, if you are from the subcontinent or if you are an Indian learner, as a lot of people on our channel are, let's get some Indian vibes into the equation. With and again, to make some something sound Indian, you just have to count triplets. It's very easy. So you whatever the pulse is. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and the pattern I have for you, one and a two and a one and a two and a left right right. It's almost like a thresio but a triplet version. Go tell it on a mountain over the hill. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. Could count it like that. Go tell. Pretty much make anything sound Indian this way. If you want for additional uh, flavor, one and a two and a three and ta ta one and a two. Any triplet hit point would make things sound very Indian or very uh, very traditional to this part of the world, I guess. So to get that Indian flavor, all you have to do is divide by three, find some hit points in there, one and a two and a three. So one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a one and a three and four and hit. Get those hit points into your rhythm pattern. So let's try and give this a go. Over the hills and everywhere. Tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. It's a bit tricky to sing and play this actually. So, I uh, hope you guys found all of our patterns useful and um, try to apply it for this song as well as any other song. And I'll be happy to hear your rendition of it. You can find me or you can find Nathaniel School on Instagram. That's a great way for us to connect and for me to notice your playing. Because right now I'm just looking at a camera. It'll be nice to see what you are doing and how you have... Um, a lot of you send in emails, but if you use Instagram, that would be very easy. You can upload it on your own profile and tag one of us and uh, we'll be happy to listen to it and also share it as well. That will be fun. And again, all of this notation and my my handwritten notes for this lesson and many more are waiting for you on our Patreon page. Do consider getting yourself a copy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 
hit that like button as well if you want leave us a comment with what you thought about the lesson and feel free to share it with your friends and family thanks a ton for watching the video again this is jason zack from nathaniel school of music and here's wishing you and all your loved ones merry christmas and a happy and prosperous new year cheers